in our series, you talked about the Maslurin, the Maslurin series and the Taylor series, isn't it? So when you were talking about the Maslurin series and the Taylor series, you saw the Maslurin series was expanding and ascending powers on that given variable. So if it is ascending powers of X, the Maslurin series is expanding and ascending powers of X. This is why it is expanding at some point. When? When? When X is equal to zero. When you are dealing with the Taylor, when X is equal to A, so it means when A is equal to zero gives you the Maslurin series. So the exponential function, we are going to see the Poisson distribution is just coming from the Maclaurin series. But I'm not going to derive the Maclaurin series at this point. I'm just going to use it. Are you seeing that? Now, remember, we say the range of a probability measure is 1. When you are defining a binomial distribution, P plus Q is 1, the whole of that range gives you 1, isn't it? Now, the Poisson, in a Poisson distribution, when the mean of a binomial distribution, the mean of a binomial distribution NP, when it is less than 5, when the mean of a binomial distribution is less than 5, then that can be, that can be approximated by a Poisson distribution. Meaning, when you are not told a distribution is a Poisson is distributed, that this, this is a Poisson distribution, you will always see it to be binomial. Because the binomial, you will always see two possibilities happening at times, so or n being the number of outcomes, isn't it? Or the number of the given commodity there. If it is a production line, n becomes the number of items, isn't it? Then p is defective, q not defective, depending on which one is small. Are you seeing that? So when the mean of the binomial distribution is less than 5, then it can be approximated with the Poisson distribution. That is why we are saying, what should be your choice for p when you are dealing with a binomial distribution, isn't it? So anytime you are in a binomial distribution, the value of p always takes to be the one which is small. Are you seeing that? Always take p to be the one which is small. That is when you will be able to check if it can be approximated with the Poisson distribution or not. Are you seeing that? So if you are told the defective rate is 5%, it means the item is either defective or not defective, isn't it? So you see 5% will be 5 for 1 at 0 0.05, isn't it? If you see, Q, it means one will be 5%, the other one will be 95%, isn't it? So it means this one, which is 5%, is what you take to be P, because it's the smaller one. Are you getting the explanation? Always choose P to be the smaller one, so that you will be able to see, can I approximate this binomial distribution with the Poisson? Are you seeing that? Are we together? Now, the Poisson distribution uses an exponential function, so the mean of a Poisson distribution Mean of a Poisson distribution is given by mean of a Poisson distribution is given by lambda. So if the mean of a Poisson distribution is lambda and it is the mean of the binomial distribution defining, approximating the Poisson distribution, then it is a clear indication that NP gives to the mean, isn't it? Are you seeing that? The mean of a binomial distribution is NP and the mean of a Poisson distribution is denoted by lambda. So what does that imply? It implies that because it is the same binomial distribution you are approximating with this. So it means it is the same mean, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. So, remember from, from indices, the zero, the, the, the zero power, anything raised to the power zero is what? It's one, isn't it? And the Poisson distribution is approximated with an exponential function. So it means if you have exponential raised to the power 0, is equals to 1. And remember, 1 is the whole range of a probability measure. So in a Poisson distribution, it's defined by an exponential function. Are you seeing that? So if the mean of a Poisson distribution is lambda, exponential raised to the power 0 is the same as lambda minus lambda. To be equals to 1 because anything less to 0 is equals to 1 and 1 is the old range of a probability measure, isn't it? Yeah. And you can see 0 is the same as lambda minus lambda, so that is 0. So you can see here you have two exponential functions, meaning you can separate them. That is loss of indices, isn't it? Loss of indices means when you have the same base, you with multiplication sign you add the powers, isn't it? So it means exponential lambda minus lambda is like saying it is exponential lambda times exponential negative lambda to be equals to 1. Because same base, you add the power. So this same base, lambda plus negative lambda is lambda minus lambda. Meaning you go back to exponential, which is 1. Are you seeing that? Are we together? 
So it means we have a product of two exponential functions. So you can see here, we have exponential negative lambda times exponential lambda to be equals to 1. But now, we want to define this series. We want to define a case whereby we must have the additional law of probabilities, isn't it? For us to have the additional laws of probability, it means we have to expand exponential lambda in Maclaurin series. And if we expand exponential lambda in Maclaurin series, it's like saying, when you are expanding exponential x in, in Maclaurin series, see you are starting with the, with the zero factorial, isn't it? Yes. Meaning, if you have zero factorial, meaning x is raised to power zero, isn't it? Yes. Then plus, when it is one factorial, it means x is raised to power one. Are you seeing that? Are we together? Yes. Then means when you have two factorial, it means x is square. Remember, ascending powers of x, the reason why you are seeing exponential function has disappeared because Maturin series is at a point when x is equal to zero. So when you are going to get your function f of x to be exponential x, when you point when x is equal to zero, meaning exponential zero, all those functions are going to go to one. That is why exponential is missing there. Are you seeing? Are we together? Those are now details in Maclaurin series, but now we are now dealing with just, just, just how it is coming about. Are we together? Then it means you go on, when you have 3 factorial, it means x is raised to power? Are we together? Then you move on and on and on, because it's a series which is moving up to infinity, isn't it? So, this is now exponential x. Now, what about when it is exponential lambda? Meaning, where there is x, you put? Lambda. Where there is x, you put lambda, isn't it? Where there is x, you put lambda. So it means we've expanded exponential lambda in Maclaurin series. So when you've expanded exponential lambda in Maclaurin series, you will expand exponential negative lambda. Expanding this, you had lambda raised to power 0 over 0 factorial plus lambda raised to power 1 over 1 factorial plus lambda raised to power 2 over 2 factorial plus lambda raised to power 3 over 3 factorial plus 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 then in the end it is equal to the whole range of the probability measure isn't it? it is equal to the whole range of the probability measure so from here you can now open the bracket isn't it? open that meaning a factor which is outside multiplies all the factors inside so you can see exponential negative lambda is a common factor for all the terms inside isn't it? It's a common factor for all the terms inside the bracket. So we have lambda raised to power 0 over 0 factorial times exponential negative lambda, then plus lambda raised to power 1 over 1 factorial times exponential negative lambda, then plus lambda raised to power 2 over 2 factorial exponential negative lambda, plus lambda raised to power 3 over 3 factorial exponential negative lambda, then plus lambda raised to power 4 over 4 factorial exponential negative lambda then you go on and when you reach the infinity you are supposed to get the whole range of a probability measure is 1 not exactly the infinity when you reach the last term of that given distribution because n will always be a given number isn't it? when n is 100 means you will go up to 100 isn't it? if n is 50 it means you will go up to 50 isn't it? because n is a known number it is not the infinity it is you are reaching at the point which defines the number of terms isn't it? are we together? So from here, we've now seen this, we've derived the formula for the Poisson distribution. Then what did we say? The addition laws of probabilities is defined by the word all, isn't it? Meaning, this are plus means all. So it means when the power of lambda is zero, it implies no outcome. Are you seeing that? Yes. When the power of lambda is zero, it implies no outcome. So when you are looking for the probability of no outcome, no outcome, it is the term where lambda is to power 0. So this first term means no outcome. So lambda is to power 0 over 0 factorial exponential negative lambda implies no factorial. Everything is multiplied by exponential negative lambda, isn't it? The term which was outside the bracket. Are you seeing that? Then the second term, this one is now defining no outcome. This one is now when lambda is raised to power 1 means exactly one outcome. So exactly exactly one outcome we will have lambda raised to power one over one factorial exponential negative lambda isn't it then you move to the next one when you have exactly two outcomes lambda raised to power two over two factorial exponential 
negative lambda. Are we together? Then you move on and on and on, isn't it? So it means when somebody tells you to find the probability that there's exactly two outcomes, then exactly two outcomes is this, isn't it? The probability that there's exactly one outcome, then this is the probability of exactly one outcome, isn't it? So when they now want at most two outcomes, at most two means what? Either no outcome or one outcome or two, outcome. meaning either this or this or this, and the word or means addition. Are you seeing that? Yes. Have you seen how to define the Poisson distribution? So that is how to deal with problems involving Poisson distribution. Let us see the first example on Poisson distribution. 